Hey, yo, 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 this is King Erner coming to you guys live and direct. This here is Stephen the Dishonorable Doherty. This guy has continuously, continuously dishonored a five-year-old at the time and sexual assault matters. Listen to me. Goes up in front of Albert J. Augustine in Montgomery County. And guess what? Guess what? They give him a $10,000 bail. Now, anybody that has ever been arrested in Montgomery yeah, County yeah, understands yeah. and knows you're not going to receive no $10,000 bail if you've done something like this. But, oh, this guy is kind. This dishonorable mixed with a little bit of Brad Pitt, fake Tom Cruise kitten, right? He goes here and thinks he can violate a child, get away with it, and Albert J. Augustine, just look at his name, Augustine, just take a look at it. He feels as though this man deserved a $10,000 bail. Come on, never mind the prosecution over there. They're not honored, I guess. They're, they're just, you know, trying to lock people up, and this guy gets away. Now we'll have to look at this guy, look him dead in his eyes and say, you dishonorable mutt, you. Take a look at your eyes, hound dog. Look at your eyes. You're sick. You're running around here, putting your hands in little boy's pants and doing dishonorable things to them. What do you think God has in store for you? I mean, never mind Montgomery County, Pennsylvania, prosecutors and their judges that give out the bells because we can see Augustine does not care. Albert J. Augustine, after him seeing how far along this has been going, he gives this guy ample opportunity to harm this child again. Now I'm going to say this repeatedly over and over. Mother, you have to know who comes around your child. And that's one thing that I can say about my queens. They're not really having that. They'll beat you about their children. They're, yeah, yeah, they'll jump all over you about their children. But whatever happened here, it seems like Montgomery County is really the individuals that is helping this guy. I mean, we got to call a ball a ball, a strike a strike. Augustine, your honor, is snatched along with. So honestly, I would like to know what the community is doing about it. You mean to tell me people that know Stephen Dockery is living on their block, they're not throwing a rally? Nope. They're not trying to figure out why this guy isn't incarcerated. Nope. Well, let me give you an example of an individual who done the total opposite. We're not making no excuses for R. Kelly. Got what his hand called for. But let me give you an understanding. He has indeed been suffering from the time he went to jail until the time he's going to leave that prison. He will suffer. Why is this God given this type of immunity? I'm, I'm pretty sure if you look into this guy name. He probably helps authorities. I mean, there's no way Albert J. Augustine will give out a $10,000 bell, a $10,000 bell to an individual with such charges. A little boy said instantly, he said, he wants to cut my private parts off. That's what he's trying to do to me. And this young man has been in child care over and over and over for this guy doing the same thing since November the 6th. Along with Stephen Doherty, your honor is snatched. You can never get your honor back. Nope. I don't care what Kang you go to. Nope. I don't care what program that you get. You know, they're going to see nope. you, you know, probably nine times out of ten to a psych, give you an excuse. He went through traumatic things in his life. But never mind R. Kelly. Yeah, they're going to leave him there. He's going to suffer day for day. And I feel as though he should suffer day for day. But also, I want you guys to understand this. 
this guy should not only suffer day for day, but this guy should be punished ASAP. And, you know, some would say, King Erner, what kind of punishment you're talking about? Well, I'm not talking about street punishment. Guys like this, I can't see an honor in them being left to harm our children. Our children are around here. Now, here it is if he was someone else. Guess what? If his complexion was different, oh, that guy would be on a million-dollar bell. He would be all over the news. He would be everywhere repeatedly, repeatedly and repeatedly. But what ends up happening is they excuse it. Yeah. Because somehow, somewhere, I think these individuals, these judges, they might have that same type of mindset if they're going to go ahead and give out such a lenient bell. I mean, come on. You know if it was you or me, we'd be looking at life before we get... I mean, look how they carry it in a can. I didn't see these type of kittens come through the can. And the so-called convicts, you know what they do? They'll make friends with a kitten like Doherty. You know why? They think he got a little coin. He's going to the store. Hey, listen. Put the soft press on this guy without no type of punishment for what he done to the child. Now, you know, in my time, it was a lot different. But I'm going to say this. It's a new age. These judges got to be held accountable for the wrong things that they do. And, you know, Augustine should understand this is just as bad as a crime. Look at this guy's eyes. He's looking for a child as we speak. And it could be your child, my child, who is also our child, the community, the village. This type of guy, he's running around here as disguised like he's a quote unquote halfway okay guy. When at the end of the day, he's not. He's an individual who is a predator, a predator. And we're not making no excuses. You see him in your community, just tell him respectfully, hey, you need to go back to the bell guy and see where you, you know, where your parameters are at because you're way out of bounds, you kidding you. No honor in your veins. Honor on the moon.